we're back again. Back in the uh, official apartment of me. Yes. yes. <laughs> What we have here is is a small, a medium, and a daddy. Oh yeah, a daddy. That's a daddy box? Yeah. Yeah, my daughter likes to classify everything as like a daddy, a mommy, a baby. Okay. A child so. a children. A children. A mommy. She says children. Although yeah. they told children we're in timeout. <laughs> <laughs> I said, did you go to timeout? Not me. This box comes from Tina. Matar? Yes, she sent to us before. She yes. is a frequent box mat contributor, yeah. is she not? And uh, this is a, a lovely box. box. <laughs> a repurposed Amazon box, which I'm yeah. sure we all have laying around. The opening speed has increased significantly. Uh, look, I, I take feedback. I understand that we need to, you know. <laughs> we don't have all day? We don't have all day? So I just want to point out that the envelope says Botmac. You know, which is one of our characters. It says Botmac, yeah. yeah. So is it not for us? Is uh, it for him? Like I should have brought the robot. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Um, Ooh, very frilly. Scalloped edges. Yeah, scalloped edges. That's scalloped. Right, Zach. This is like what a real lady does. She keeps stationary for thank you notes. And... <laughs> yeah. Hello again, box mat crew. Wait a minute. Now you, know, you got me curious. Oh, it is an X because the X in this note is a little bit crooked as well. Oh, her X's are just <laughs> adjusted. We did some uh, handwriting analysis there. If I was Hank Schrader, I'd be like looking at the X's and I was like, Tina, Tina cooked the meth. Hello again, Box Mac crew. I'm back with more SE Grocer 79 cents and hopefully a new brand Santa Sophia 45 Ooh. cents. I've also included the one that opened in transit from my last package. I see a Betty Baker. Never heard of Betty it's Baker. Open. Look, it, the noodles are all dumped into the... Oh, no! <laughs> Hopefully now I've sent you enough Max to make an episode or two. Can't wait for you to try them from Tina in California. These are like lady names. Betty Baker and Santa Sophia. These are lady Max. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got two little portable Max here. Portable. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking for new adjectives. The other ones are so much harder to move around. <laughs> I'll be honest. Like those those feel to me like the ones that would be like, oh yeah, we haven't done this Betty Baker one. <laughs> I mean, we could, we could do another low cost show, for example. Yeah, yeah. Can't we just save them, them for International Women's Day? We never do an International Women's Day episode. Right. Budget women, Max. Budget, <laughs> budget women, Max. <laughs> Portable budget women, Max. <laughs> this box comes to us from the shipping manager at Parcel and Post Plus in Taunton, Massachusetts. Nice. Yeah, this is gonna be from Andrew K. He's a big fan. You see him on the Reddit all the time. Okay. Whoa! It's chucked to the brim. He basically just sent us a new haul of masks. Do you know what happened with this box? He made this box, I think, a long time ago, and he left it in the trunk of his car for a really long time and forgot it was there. And then he remembered, like, last month. Okay. Is there a chance that the Max are pre-expired? September 27th, 2020. I'm on that one. Gotta kind of get on it. Oh, my. The letter is dated December 11th, 2019. I appreciate the dating. <laughs> if you're going to forget your box in the trunk of your car, please date it. We're shooting this in August 2020. The world was a different place. Howdy, John, Frankie, Nina, EJ, Zach, Manserver, Mac, Glow, and Co. Glow and Co. That was kind of nice. Was... Enclosed is a box that is filled to the brim with the entire Aldi Mac catalog. Oh. Whoa. Oh. That's great. Now I understand. Now I get it. Look at all these Macs. Any portables in there? All Look at all Macs. these Macs. Look at all these Macs. <laughs> the kinds of jokes you wouldn't have gotten if Zach had stayed home. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> One of which was reviewed in the fifth ever episode of Box Mac. Would you say that you and I are now official members of the cheese club. Oh, I think we are. And the other two on the 116th. It is sour, it's really sour. Well, the pasta's good though, let's comment on the pasta. Yeah, it's, it's great pasta. The rest have yet to be reviewed to my best knowledge. I sent doubles of the three Macs because I'm curious to see if you would stand by how you felt about them when you first reviewed them or if something would change. I don't think you've ever tried a Mac twice besides the Evol and we all know how that went. Not true, there have been times where we didn't realize we had already we had the Mac. Unconsciously, like without realizing. And it is represented in the box Mac database yeah. where it says repeat. I also was going to send the microwavable cup Mac but it wouldn't fit in the box. Oh, no portable Mac. Um, shrug emoji. Uh, no portable Mac. Long armed shrug emoji. Long armed shrug emoji. The specialty select Macs are quite different than what you two have tried before as well. Instead of the powder being in a separate satchet, the powder seems to almost be part of the noodle. Will be quite interesting to see how that fares. Thank you to the entire crew for providing countless hours of entertainment, whether it be through the occasional stream, the countless blog posts and weekly uploads, or films that you have created. Thank you. I bet Frankie has a count on that. There's a, a bevy of Cheese Club Macs, like a, a huge number. Cheese Club Deluxe, Cheese Club Three Cheese, <laughs> Cheese Club Thick and Creamy, 
I've never seen this many cheese clubs in my life. Cheese club shells and cheese. Cheese club shells and cheese jalapeno, which we definitely haven't done. Cheese club shells and cheese chipotle, which we definitely haven't done. Cheese club four <laughs> cheese deluxe. Cheese club original cheddar. Simply nature organic. Simply You're in nature. charge of the simply natures. Deluxe. Simply nature. Uh, organic, uh, whatever. Simply nature, whatever. White, White shield. shield. One more cheese club, the original for Nina. And then three fascinating specialty selected macaroni and cheese Sorrento. I'm wicked into those. So I think that's the one he's referring to where there's not a separate sachet that it's actually mixed in with the pasta. He works at all these. That's the whole thing here. Oh. And he was a little heartbroken by the episode. I think it's just a bullshit. Asinine. He works at the one in Taunton. Yeah. Uh, and he said, you were welcome to come to my Aldi's. I'll like talk you through the Aldi's. And we won't get kicked out. And we won't get, you That's won't get, great. you will not get kicked out. Well, then we should do it. Maybe there's a better Aldi's in Totten. Or at least he could like tell us where we, where our impressions are unfounded. If I go back in my mind, the thing that annoyed me most about that Aldi was how unclean it was. Yeah. That and was, he actually agreed. He was yeah. like, it is a bit. Andrew's not in charge of that one. It is kind of a filthy store, let's face it. This is an awesome selection of Macs. You'll definitely be seeing some shows with these. I, hell yeah. Does Aldi sell anything but macaroni and cheese based on, <laughs> based on this? There's no way to gracefully unload these Macs. Okay, I think this next one is for EJ, so I think we should swap out. Okay. What kind of wonderful gift rates EJ? A smokeless indoor barbecue. Whoa. Wait a minute, the whole point of grilling is smoke, is it not? Yeah, but this is for indoors. You don't want smoke indoors. Yeah. So it will not have that smoky flavor TM? Yeah, but you'll be able to like do, I don't know, electronic grill marks. <laughs> E-grills. How did you know what it was so quickly? Uh, You've you seen know. this? You've looked yeah, at no. this very product? <laughs> you know, He's in the market, he knows the industry. I know, I, you <laughs> gotta know, it's my job to know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had anything on anything like this that tasted good. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure if you put enough spices on it, it would be okay. I, 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 like like most of the things that I review, it will cook food probably. <laughs> Do you think that you will make a show out of this? Actually, maybe. You know what I've never done is actually shish kebab. straight up shish kebab. Shish kebab is a delicious form. You should try to recreate those exact items on there. That, uh, <laughs> that is a There's good, a good idea. <laughs> These look like ribeye well, steaks. With electronic grill marks. These look like some sort of salmon. Salmon, salmon, salmon steaks? Like thick salmon steaks. There are uh, shish kebabs. There's some with uh, shrimp. shrimp. I think that would be a fun show. That, that to is a really... Nina, you are a genius. That's why we have to have everybody all together. I know, yeah. that's that's the missing yeah. dynamic. Yeah. I mean, you get good things like the, the Zoom show, but. That's about it. My dad is real into um, swordfish. My dad's real into like, I got this specialty fish and want you to have it. Here's yeah. tons of instructions on how to, what to do with it. <laughs> yeah. And it's, this week I just, I said, all right, give me the swordfish. <laughs> you only have to broil it in your, you know, in your oven for five minutes on each side with mayo. That's literally it. She likes swordfish? It's it's just, I never encounter it it's that often. It's so good, EJ. It's like, yeah, it's like a fish steak. You wanna like- Usually it's so expensive is the reason I know. Yeah. That. And it's like so filled with mercury or something that you're saying. Oh like, yeah, ah. I ate it like every night this week. <laughs> um, here's what you do. You put lots of pepper on it and you squeeze a lot of lemon on it. Yeah. And you have it with broccoli or something and Man. you're just having a good day. Sounds damn. wonderful. I think like for a Christmas special or something, we should have my dad over and he'll make us swordfish. Oh, that wonderful. would be great. Right, right. Uh -huh. Came up with a lot of good ideas for shows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the first time we've been together in months, so all kinds of juices are flowing. But then when, like, when I tell John about it later, when I'm like, the swordfish episode with my dad, he'll be like, all right, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing with these cheese balls. We're about to shoot a box mac. Okay. Behind the curtain. There was an idea that was thrown out there, kind of like these ideas you're hearing now. Let's make a ch an Oots cheese balls mac. I said this? No, I think I did. You know what might be a fun box mac thing? What? See what kind of mac and cheese we can make with Oots cheese balls. Ooh, that's kind of weird. Where we sit right now, John has no idea what we're doing with those big packages. Look, take a look at them real quick. Just those big pack. Over. Just look at those big packages. The preview of, of the future. <laughs> That's what's happening next. Next time. On Box Mac. On Red Car Entertainment's channel. <laughs> yes. There was an idea. Let's make a, an Oots Cheese Balls Mac. I said this? No, I think I did.